On July 11, 2022, history was made, as the very first image from the James Webb Space Telescope, was unveiled to the world. Upon its release, it immediately broke the cosmic record, for the deepest view ever taken of the universe. This record had previously been held by the Hubble Space Telescope, which first set the record back in the mid-90s with the original Hubble Deep Field image. When comparing James Webb's first image, to the image taken by the Hubble Telescope, of the same patch of sky, you can see how much more detail Webb's camera, is capable of capturing. So what are we actually seeing, in this new deep field image, and how much more is it revealing of the universe? Before we get stuck in comparing the images, let's first get a basic overview of how each of the telescopes works, because their capabilities are not identical. Webb often gets called the replacement for Hubble, but NASA prefers to call it its successor. James Webb Telescope primarily looks at the universe in infrared wavelengths, while the Hubble Telescope looks at the universe in optical and ultraviolet wavelengths. Both Webb and Hubble are reflecting telescopes that conceptually work the same. Hubble's mirror is 2.4 meters in diameter, whereas Webb's segmented honeycomb-shaped mirror is an enormous 6.5 meters in diameter. The James Webb Telescope has the largest mirror ever flown in space. Its 18 segments are made out of lightweight beryllium and coated with a thin layer of gold, making it much more sensitive to infrared light, allowing it to peer farther back in time than Hubble was ever capable of doing. The two telescopes also have very different cooling requirements and are in very different positions. Hubble is in orbit around the Earth, while the Webb telescope views the universe from 1.5 million kilometers away from Earth. So now we know how each telescope differs, let's take a look at the same image taken by both these telescopes. As you can see, how the greater capabilities of Webb have allowed for a much more detailed view of the universe. Each photo is of the galaxy cluster called SMACS 0723. This galaxy cluster is located 4.6 billion light years away from Earth. This area of space is particularly interesting for astronomers, as the galaxy's gravitational pull distorts the light of more distant galaxies behind them. This phenomenon is known as gravitational lensing. Thanks to gravitational lensing, Webb is actually able to look much farther away. This is why some of the light from those distant objects seems curved and warped. NASA says that the light that Webb senses is more than 13 billion years old which means the galaxies in the background, were formed just a few hundred thousand years, after the Big Bang. For the first time, we can see some of the faintest objects, ever observed in the universe. The incredible part is that, this photo only covers a patch of sky, approximately the size of a grain of sand, held by someone on the ground. Compared to Hubble's view of the same area, Webb has brought those distant galaxies into sharp focus. Many objects, that appeared as faint smudges to Hubble, can now be seen in greater details. Because Webb peered so far into space, to capture this magnificent image, it was able to observe distant light, that's been traveling across the cosmos, for billions of years. This photo is just one of five that are being released, offering our pale blue dot, a glimpse into the distant past. In the coming years, Webb will no doubt build on the legacy of Hubble, allowing us to see deeper into space than ever before. Although the best is yet to come, each new observation, especially at this early stage, reveals a brand new page in a 13.8 billion year old cosmic story. The universe will never be the same again.